Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 14 of my Crystal Isles playthrough. And, uh, did a little bit of power leveling here on Kitty. And, uh, just a touch more. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's go for melee. Uh, basically I had Kitty riding on my shoulder and I took my aloes out for a spin. Oh, there's metal down here. Cool. Hup. Plop. Alright. One thing I also did between episodes is I made myself scuba gear. So we can go and explore to our heart's content down here. Well, not necessarily heart's content, but it's like, what, 45 minutes or so? Uh, let's see, there's coelacanth down there. Oh, there's Manta. Ichthyosaur. There's a lot of metal down here. Look at this. A lot of Mantas, too, actually. And I did kind of peek at a resource map, so I know there... Um... Further north... There's supposed to be like an undersea cave or something, so. Yeah, I'm basically in like a bay right now, aren't I? Okay. And then there's also, it looks like a good amount of like deep sea loot crates, whatnot. So that is a bright green ichthyosaur. I am kind of confident in my ability to take on things like a megalodon though. Some of the other beasties down here, not so much, but Megalodons are pretty weak, honestly. Unless I run into like an Alpha, and it's going to be, you know, sad times for sign. I ran out of stamina. Oh well, look at this. Is this the cave already? Kind of sort of looking that way. Yeah, let's go to first person. Uh, let's put the map away as well. Uh, yeah, I would call this an undersea cave. The good news is, oh, there's anglerfish, but a uh, tight confined area like this, smooth walls, I can tell if there's any hiding spots. And uh, I can see if there's anything waiting for me up ahead. Okay, got giant clams. Yeah, the only, the only thing I don't like about the, the leper seal is how far back the camera goes whenever you're in third person. Okay, here we go. Uh, take a left. That's an electric eel. That's not something I want to mess with. And that's an artifact. And I just got killed. I just got one shot by electric eel. Well, ain't that about great. Um, which should be relatively easy, honestly. But in order to get to where my suit is, I need another one. And, let's see, uh, all my relics were on me too. Uh, actually, let's go here. We're just going to pitch all this stuff on the ground, let it despawn. I've got multiples of all those now, so. And if I really, really want some, there we go, I can, uh, oh, by the way, this button here works for your personal crafting. This is whatever table you're in. Uh, I can just always, like, jump off the, like, the top of my tower and, and get a whole bunch of them, so. Or go up there and work and fall off by accident, and there we go. Oh, I also got myself a Arizonosaurus named him Tucson. 
And he provides an insulation buff just like the uh, Dimetronon does. All right. Time to break into the little used dinosaur pen. Um, Ruby, I think, is my best one. And the coolest looking one, too, honestly. Also, 14,000 health. Six thousand. Fourteen thousand was Andrea, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Andrea likes to poke her nose through and disrupt everything. Uh yeah, go ahead and pick you up. I'm gonna need to put a s need to get a saddle for you too. So let's go over here. Go we'll fire up our fabricator. And we'll put this in here. Turn that on. Armor, scuba, uh, request items. Request items. I'll wait for the first one to finish before I start requesting more items here. Because he uses the items as soon as it starts crafting them, and I don't want to have the system go, oh, well, you've already got everything you need, so we don't need to worry about this. Or you got all, like, all the fiber you need. Don't have to worry about this. And we are going to equip, honestly, probably just the pants for right now. There's only one that doesn't have a negative effect of wearing it. The goggles cut down in your line of sight. The uh, flippers slow you down. If you wear the tank, you start bleeding air out quicker than you really want to. Uh, Ostroraptor saddle, please. Because Ruby's going to need a saddle. And Ruby's going to need some food. So. Which I've got a stupid amount of meat. So not too worried about it. Honestly I've got a whole bunch of food for, for dinosaurs. Oh yeah. Something else. I'm going to need some food too. Uh, let's get it with like 500 I think for now. Alright Ruby. Hey sweet. You leveled up again. I uh, have some more health actually. You can have that, and then you can put this on, and back in my shoulder. Right, so, yeah, I'm going to need food, which I've got extra human food in here, so. Not a huge problem. Uh, tell you what, I can't make anything out of cooked fish, let's just eat that. And, probably Spessartine, I think I should ride over there. Which, even with Spessartine being as quick as he is, it's going to take a bit. Alright, so we're back. Come on. And uh, there's a Fasolasuchus over there, just munching on something. Alright, hop on here. Let's go ahead and turn your relic off. And we will uh, put everything on. There's no gloves, though. There should be scuba gloves, too. Alright. And there's the cave. Okay, cool. I overshot it a little bit, but not terrible. And now, actually, I think the Ostrapter may be a better choice for in here. Uh, simply for the fact that higher stamina. And I need, still need to actually determine which one's faster, though. The Leopard Seal or the... Uh, Ostroraptor. But yeah, freezing water and I'm not feeling a thing. So, love it. Yeah, we seem to actually be going through the cave a little bit quicker. But that may just be a feeling that I get because, well, you know, I've been here before. Alright, so, it's up ahead here and then at the split I went and left. And I fully expect to see a death message for Kitty here sometime soon. Uh, let's see, what's over to the right? Uh, looks like that joins up and then that goes somewhere, okay. Yep, there's my death point right there. There's that stupid eel and there's Kitty. Oh hey, cool, Kitty killed, the, killed one of them. 
All right, they can't do that too often, I think. There we go. All right, stuff, grab. Ah, I feel better, I actually have stuff in my hot bar now. Uh, here, you can get equipped, and then the ghillie gauntlets can get equipped as well. And we are going to get the Artifact of the Lost. Cool. And can I whistle? Oh, I'm still on nine, aren't I? There we go. Alright, come on, kitty. I think my best bet would have been to... Okay, good. Uh, come down here with like a, a full pack of Ostraraptors. Does this link around through as well? Looks like Kitty might be the faster of the two. Yeah, looks like this all ties together here, okay. And let's go ahead and a little more melee damage. Ah, we got jellyfish. Go low, try to avoid them. Manta, okay. And let's see. Oh, it's just coral, okay. I was wondering if that was a like oddly shaped silica pearl thing. Hmm, creep vine from uh, Subnautica. That, though, those are silica pearls. I am not going to pass up a bonanza like this. There we go. I think I finally got that one. And... I think that's all of them. How much did I get? Ah, 400. Not bad. So we're going to stick on the slower mount for now. Because I don't want to leave her behind. And that is a something or other. That is a Nautilus. Right? Ammonite. Yeah. And apparently I'm blinded for a bit, but it's not anything noticeable. Keeping an eye out for more silica pearls now that I know they're down here. Oh, loot crate. Uh, ascendant fabricated pistol. Ascendant flak leggings. Well, that is weird. I get affected by it whenever I'm not on my mount. But, uh... When I'm on the mount, not so much. Yeah, I definitely have to have scuba gear to explore this thing. Alright, and... Okay, that's a dead end over there. Okay, yeah, definitely a dead end that way. Okay. I kind of sort of hear another humming, so I think there's at least one more of those uh, loot crates hanging around here somewhere. 
I heard it coming through a wall, so... Okay. Nope. Learned my lesson last time. Ah, more jellyfish. Okay. They will come towards you, but they're very slow, so shouldn't be much of a threat, honestly. What did I just hear? Like right at the edge of hearing, but it's something roaring. I'm being tracked by one of those damn eels. <sighs> Way back there, but... More pearls, okay. Um, right. Yep, it's still freaking there. Dead center of the screen. Nope. I'm trying to remember key lines right now. Is it swimming away? It is. Alright. Oh, bubbles. I doubt I can use them to refill my scuba tank, though. Alright. Should not have gotten that far away from my ride. Here. Kitty, uh, you got one more level up? There you go. Alright. And dead end. Uh, looking that way. Oh, more silica pearls, though. And there's some right there, too. I can see them shimmering. Okay, where's where's my uh, seal at? Dang it! Dude, no! Do not go in the deep dark hole. Actually, I kind of want to be in there now. Yeah, there's nothing in here, dude. Yeah, you good? Alright. Well, there's an ammonite there. It's like it doesn't want anything to do with me, though. Well, that's good news. I'd hate to be one of those things that ignores you while you're riding, and as soon as you hop off your mount, it's like, ooh, lunch. I hate those dinos. Hm. Alright, and... Wasn't this the way I came in or something? 
Yeah, but I was running away from an eel. That explains why I didn't get these. It's like I've reached a dead end, though. That is like the weirdest looking scallop right there. Alright, well, let's see. Blue crate. And, yeah, there was an eel waiting. I'm going to let Kitty take care of it, I think. And... Charging, okay. Back off. There it is. Okay, it's dead. Alright. And the yellow loot crate. Uh, we have Ascendant Deodon Saddle and Ascendant Ichthyosaur Saddle Blueprint. Alright, cool. Alright, what else we got in here? Try not to hug the wall too much. I don't want uh, Kitty to get stuck again. Dang it. Uh, what is it? Attack my target. There we go. I don't remember what the key was. It's period, by the way. I should really take a look at kitty stats after this. Did you just glitch that thing through the ceiling? Is that what just happened? Hey, kitty. Oh, you're doing excellent. It's like you're, uh, you're unfazed by the, uh, the shocking... Okay, yeah, we... This is the alternate path I decided not to go down because of the eels. And now they're both taken care of. Alright then. Just making sure that my seal is still back there. Red crate. Sea scorpion. Wow, yeah, that was a uh, pretty easy there for a seal. There's another one over there. This is bright red though. There you go. That was level 152, and that still took almost no time at all to take out. Uh, we got ascendant fur boots and ascendant riot boots. Not so good in the heat, but uh Damn that's a lot of good armor on those. They actually have a neg negative hyperthermic insulation. So three loot crates so far. Blue, a yellow, and a red. Got the artifact. I got a ton of silica pearls. Uh, almost 2,000 silica pearls. And I may have reached the end of it. But just with those loot crates alone, I should probably... Oh no, it continues on. Another loot crate. And a yellow. Uh, Ascendant and Casteroides, okay. And Ascendant Fayumia. Sure, why not? What the? He 
He's got something in a death spin. A manta? Oh hey, I can harvest the grass. Aberrant Manta. For some reason he wasn't able to do damage to its bite though. Okay. Kinda strange, but okay. Alright, level up again. More damage please, thank you. Yeah, um, the seal's got like twice the health of my raptor, so... I have no problems letting him take care of most things, but sometimes uh, the AI just doesn't know what to do. Alright, um... Yeah, no, I should probably set up a base uh, close to the entrance of this. And... Come down here and firm loot crate. Okay, there's another loot crate. No, that's another artifact. Oh, it's the same one. Okay, artifacts are lost. In that case, here. What? I cannot put it in with my dinosaur. Okay. Never mind, and because you can only ever have one of these, yeah. Or, well, or not. One, two. Artifact the Lost, Artifact the Lost. Okay, something's broken there, but I got two of them. In my pocket. I just looped around, I think. Yeah, that was a giant loop, took me back to the first artifact. This is the way I didn't go right inside the entrance. That's all places we've been to already, though. Alright, cool. We can get on out of here then. Right, and then was this the way out? I think so, yeah. Honestly, there's a lot fewer creatures in here than I thought there would be. Because I remember the undersea cave in Valguero, and that was just full of everything under the sun. Even in the portions that were like this big, it was still just chock full of uh, things that wanted to bite your face off. Hey, look! Daylight. Actually, let's go ahead and stay underwater, I guess, for now. Most likely, if I'm swimming at the surface, then I've got to run the risk of things coming at me from underneath and nailing me when I can't see it. Not really a lot of fun, honestly. And... The C4 changes up ahead. Okay, there's jellyfish. Uh, there are a few swimming beasties that are immune to the poison. That's Dunkleostis. Pretty sure. Yeah, there's two of them. I have never seen one before, though. 
Yeah, see how the seabed changes now? Oh, ammonites, okay. Like, I just saw a blue circle, like, kind of moving. I'm really curious what that is, and I don't want to know what that is. We're just leaving. Uh, some sort of pre pliosaur maybe? Uh, yeah, he, he kind of gave up. Okay. So where am I? Uh, just north of the Redwoods, okay. Probably should not have stopped swimming for that. Because he is back there. Okay. Okay. Here's all the sea life, including more electric eels. Going up. Not in the mood to get one shot at again while I'm writing something. Okay. Just make sure nothing's following us. There's another armored fish. Funny thing about the Dunkleostis, nobody really knows what the back half looks like. Because all they ever find is like the fossilized head armor. That was not cool. Are they chaining or something between each other? Oh no, there's just a lot of them in there. Okay. Well, that was like, what, five of them? Five of ones, all one ambush? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, I can eat one of the Scooby gear on. Sweet. All right. Well. That's a little bit of excitement now, isn't it? Hello, changing... Oh my good god almighty, what are you? Okay, it's one of the armored fish. I just saw like five more of those damn eels. And another one of those pudgy guys, whatever they are. Hey, there's a world border. More eels. What the hell, man? Why is that look a bit on the suspicious side? Like another cave? Yep. Kinda. Okay, so it just has two entrances then. Okay.
Well, that is a nice and evil looking thing now, isn't it? Oh, it's a Mosasaurus. Okay. I think Kitty keeps grabbing hold of it and dragging it around is what's going on. Nothing but prime. And a ton of hide. Alright. Now that I've spun around in circles a lot. Okay, entrance. I hear a humming. It's like, it's maddening, it's like right at the edge of, you know, right at the edge of hearing. And now I don't hear anymore. Weird. Okay, there's gotta be something about this cave. And that's back out into the uh wild blue yonder again. That's an angler fish. Strange looking floating rock. You're not going to get stuck in there. Okay, good. Because this is a, like a huge difference compared to everything else around here. So it makes me really think there's something hiding in here. Oh. No good. Ran out of air. That's why it, quote, broke. Yeah, I'm hearing like a generic hum coming from like everywhere in here. But seeing as how much I had to turn down game sound so that dinosaur footsteps weren't deafening, I doubt it's going to show up in video. There's even bubbles. Like, hey, there's something down here. Like right at the top corner of the map, too. Yeah, tell me that's not suspicious looking right there. 
I mean, there's like nothing at all around here. And boom. Hella bright light. Wow, three levels though. Nice. You did take a bit of a beating with that Mosasaur though. What was that anyway? Mosasaur or Mosa? Nah, okay. Yeah, it just shows things I've tamed, things that I have that have died. And when I've died. Yeah, that's just a really gigantic like clamshell there, okay. Of course this may just be one of those like cool look at me areas too. And there are a few of them I found. Oh, forget, I mean, blind as a bat. Freaking artifact right here. Artifact of the Stalker. I wonder if I can hear the hum. I'm guessing the artifact base still hums, even after the artifact's gone. Alright, but I'm already on my reserve tank of air, which I didn't even have when I started out, so uh, let's head to the surface. Or, well, let's head up a bit. What's with the light? Like, why is there... Like, all this light right here. Also, I ended up a lot deeper than I thought I would. Weird. That is just odd. Well then. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to go ahead and call this an episode because I'm just going to go back and I'm going to get my stuff and uh, and then I've got to get those guys back also I tamed a Banguela named him Goober this will be my honey collector as soon as I can find some more hives tell you one thing taming with prime meat sucks but thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next episode, sign signing out. Have fun. That was a really big ember there. All right, time for a little bit of bonus footage. A giant squid beached. It, and it seems to have alpha particles, so I'm thinking this, I've never seen a Tusa Toothus in the game before. Pretty damn sure they're not this big though. Alpha might be this big, but it's stuck. I've been wailing on this thing for a good couple minutes now, and uh, I have no idea how you're supposed to actually legitimately kill these things, because it is getting the little red lines of damage showing up finally, but uh, man, 
change attacks every once in a while because my fingers start getting tired. Yeah, I swam by and the tentacles were out hanging in the water and I'm like, the heck is that a tree root or something? And then it moved. It's like, okay. So it gave a nice white berth surfaced and I saw this thing here. So I decided to do something stupid because, you know, I've only died twice in this trip so far. And give it a whack and then nothing happened. And now I've just been sitting here wailing on it for, oh, five minutes or so now. And... I mean, damage lines are appearing, so I am actually doing damage to it. But, uh... I have no idea how much longer this is going to take, because that's not a whole lot of damage lines showing up. <laughs> My poor Ostraraptor is just sitting here, just unsure of what to do. Just chowing down on raw fish right now, and just why just wailing away in this thing if I kill this thing I want to get a trophy that would be nice but I checked the wiki on crystals and it's you know predictably you know sparse and uh, so I have no idea if this is a feature or not like a beached alpha supersized tusa toothus It's kind of weird how it's got four fins up here. Squid usually only have two. Bilateral symmetry, not, you know, quadrilateral. Good lord. So the, uh, yeah, the squid died. Uh, and it was an alpha tusa to this. Sorry about my video cutting out there. Um, not sure exactly why it cut out when it did. But yeah, no, we, uh, oh cool, it's daytime. I can put this away now. Uh, yeah, no, Ruby over here, uh, took out an Alpha Tusa Toothus. Amazingly enough, it was awesome. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Special drops. Uh, it's Basilisk scale, yeah. I don't think I actually got the Alpha to drop off of it, though. If there was one. At least nothing that I found, so. And nothing really special. I mean, Ruby did get a few levels out of it, though, so, but, and a lot of, a lot of fish meat. Uh, let's see. I think I got some prime fish meat, too. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, like 700 raw prime fish meat now. Doing good, doing good. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut short this little bit of bonus footage. Um, got got work to do, so I'm like finish cleaning up around here. And I'm thinking about maybe actually packing up and moving. What the heck? Your tail, dude, chicken. Holy crap, man. Or at least maybe maybe not packing up and moving, but. Getting a, uh, well, no, packing up, moving. You know, it's, uh, I found a spot that I love even more this place. This place is awesome. Don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah. I found some place that's just, I kind of prefer. But I'll see you next episode.